Racing and Richard's Adventures. Today we're going to Buckhurst Hill, one stop from Loughan, and we're going to trek it. We know how long it takes by bus, it's 15 minutes, but um, we're going to see how long it takes. When I say 15 minutes on a train thing, you've got a changeover, I hope it's more than that, say 20 minutes. So you wait for another one, it misses it. But anyway, we can see how long it takes. Um, from Buckhurst Hill to Chigwell. We're going to time it along the route. And try, not, try to stick to a route as a shortcut to Chigwell. Not stalk to a route the bus does. Waiting for a train that does one route. When I get to Buckhurst Hill, I'm going to get a nice hot drink and a couple of bananas for my journey. I'm not doing the normal lunch today. Doing a banana lunch today. A bit of potassium for me because I had a bit of a tension headache for the last four days. I need to get rid of it and the bananas do a nice cure. So, yeah, on our way to um, well, Buckhurst still, we'll go to Waitrose. Then, after that, after nice refreshing up, I'll make my journey. We're just waiting for the train. Before the train comes, that's not our one, that's going to stay in here for a minute. Don't know where it's going. Um, Doing a life hack today, I'm going to take 30p with me and uh, see what I can get with it at Waitrose. I can try and get a bargain. My train is here, I'm just going to get ready to board it now. In our station, Loughton, and we're getting off just there, Buckhurst Hill, and we're walking all the way to Chigwell. Can we do it? And I want it to take, because this one has to go there and there, but we're going straight, if we can. Buckhurst Hill. Um, we just this is the train. I've got to go out now. I think I've got to go over. I'm not too sure. But yeah, off it goes. And off my way out to Buckhurst Hill. Victorian style platform, and uh, it looks like I've got to take the bridge across to get out. Nice retro bridge, though. I'm telling you that. Off and out to Burkhurst Hill. The views at the top are really nice. There's all stations here. Really, I like the view. That's the bridge you go over there. I think that's the bridge I might have to cross to go to Chigwell. Because I've got to cross the railway. Otherwise it'd be a bit of a trek. To follow the railway, that'd be a bit of a challenge, wouldn't it? Just to follow the railway. I'd be mad. But we've got to cut off in a diagonal situation. But how we do it, I don't know. So it might have to be, I think it's that direction because that way is a bit messed up. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I have to do. Because that's the only bridge. Because there's another bridge further up. I don't think that's, a, no, that's the bridge. That's a nice view though, the station though. We're heading off out of the platform now. Just to show you how big the central line is. There we are. Central line, all the stations. Some you might recognise. So we're here at the moment, so if you carry on, you end up in London, see? That's the circus. Let's head off out. Calculating the times to get back is uh, the train ticket man said. Um, you've got a 25 minutes, 30 minute target for your challenge. But first, life hack. We've uh, got to wait trolls first. I'll show you what I mean when I get there. It's just up here from a back I steal last time. I've got 30p and a waitress card and a shade. What you can get with it. People say it's expensive, so it's what you think. Let's do the challenge. Interesting fresh up. Um, got two bananas and a, a latte machine got messed up. So I got a double latte by accident. Yeah. But more than my measure. So more than a cup basically, because my flask I've got is quite big. It's about a cup and a half. And also, 
and you pay 11 pence for two bananas, they're supposed to be 22 pence, she charged me 11, so I can't complain with that, I'll save, I'll save some money. Okay, here is Buckeye Steel, Buckeye Steel Station. Um, it's now 11, 20, 11 42 about now, and we're on our way. And we should go, uh, it takes half an hour to get to Chigma by train, or approximately, sometimes it's within 20 minutes, 25 minutes, half hour. Well, the guy said, give yourself half an hour. My challenge is to get there before the train. Well, the bus will be quicker, a little bit quicker anyway. Let's see where the bus goes, know where the Chigwell is, and see if I can do any shortcuts. Bridge, to my advantage, I've got the forest. That's my advantage. So basically, I can cut through the forest if I wanted to. That's my advantage, which is a good thing. We're heading, we don't know what direction we're heading yet. Look at the bus stop and work it out. There should be a shortcut somewhere because the bus does a cut diversion. Um, and if we actually do make it within half an hour before the train, as proven to it, the train's been quicker. I done a challenge yesterday, I didn't record it. I went from Hornchurch to Emerson Park and I beat the bus. But can it be proven? Can it be quicker? There's only one way to find out. Do the route. It's a walk in the way of the traffic. So see what's coming towards me so I know where I'm going. I don't like traffic behind me. So that's why I'm walking on the right. Um, I'm going to check the bus stop and uh, see what route it takes. And I'm sure there's a shortcut. There is a shortcut to take. You sort of you have to cut your way through because the train diverts on the other way. Because unless the train's going on the opposite side. A bit of challenge. It's a challenge. It's accepted. Can I do it within half an hour? I'll be checking you each time. I'll be clicking the clock and everything. You're not messing about with the time. Here's the time. And you can see the date. Let me focus that. You can see it's Friday. You can see the date. You see the clock, and you know I'm not messing about, and you can see it change. I'm slow down so you can see it change. So you know I'm not messing about with the time. And you know I'm on the route. Well, bad focus, wasn't it? You know I'm on the route, and you know I'm doing it. I'm going to check this bus stop to see what point we've got to do. Because the spooky towers to tell you along the way. Downside, I had to cross the road because there's a blinding bend, as you can see there, and it's going downhill, literally going downhill. And I've been I've done a, looked at the map, I've done a bit of research before I left this morning, so I'm going to tell you some tales along the way. They're good ones as well, you're going to love these tales, they're more exciting than last one. <laughs> because how it is, it's interesting facts. This is pretty cool, you're going to love this one. When they built the road, they built it through a forest. As you can see, they're cutting through the forest. So either side of us, left and the right, would be forest, but dead centre will be a road. We come to our first tale, our first story. It's like a country park you can sort of chill in. and. Uh, this place across there, just there, um, it's kind of a no-go for a reason. But I'll take the tower while I'm in the, in the country park. The tower begins where this tree is. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason. I have to get a bit muddy. Got the right shoes on today. Finally. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason. This tree and that fence has some story to tell. Oh, you see how old the tree is, can you see how big the tree is, right? It's been here a long time, isn't it? So you know I'm going to tell a really old tale between that tree and that fence. We get wild boar around here, by the way. I've got to be careful. Get wild boar. Got to be very careful because you get wild boar. This tree is estimated because I just want to give you a rough idea how big it is. Um, as you can see, it's quite a big tree. I can't, look, it's literally so big. I can't even get my hands right around the whole tree. This tree has been here 
it's 500 to 600 years old something like that that's how old the tree gets but you got a lot of well the legend a bit here about this tree is you had a lot of um fighting along here um you know you had it in the other forest i told you about they sort of wild boar hunting it still happens but not this part of the forest they get a lot of wild boar and a lot of mutilations and a lot of spookies get happening around they see a lot of ghost figures come across this part but I've stopped people going that way because people used to hide out film it you know what I mean do some crazy things and so that's why they blocked it right off but yeah this is kind of cool that the tree is quite legend we decided to go this way because we can do the forest the road's only over there the road's only up the top but I don't know how far we've got to climb up the bank I just like, I just like to walk through the forest but I still have to keep vigilant with the boars. But this, this area is another thing. Um, you used to get a lot of rituals here. A lot of witch rituals. Um, they still happen actually, funny enough. And there's two um, trees. Um, they call them, uh, well, the Christmassy trees. And there's two trees. They're in the forest when everything grows, basically. It's just two trees randomly grow. I see there's one odd one just there. I like that one. But here, there's two trees. They don't understand why they've randomly grown. I'll show you. See all the different trees we've got here? See all the trees? All the nice trees. I'm going to show you the two random trees, are what I mean. You see? See what I mean? They randomly just popped up. No warning. They just popped up. And what they've done the people um, that look after the forests and that they put a log here so you can sit and admire and apparently you're supposed to sit here you're supposed to sit here apparently be careful those mushrooms this bit's a bit wet the wood's a bit wet you're supposed to sit here and admire these trees yeah sort of mythical legend mysterious trees eh Oh, it looks like I can't go all the way through the forest. I can't climb up the top. I'll have to go back up bit. I'm back on the main road. Oh, better do that. I don't want to mess up with the time now, do I? But it's nice to come in and tell you. I just want to tell you about those tales. Yeah. Not far from the big tree, which is just over there somewhere. Which is outside. I've got to find a way back out again. Oh, yeah, it's just over here, I think. Is it over here? Where did we come out of? No, it's here. I see a big tree, but you can see it as I'm walking up to it. That big tree, so you can see it in the distance now to give you an idea what it's like. It's nice to see a bit of history here. People don't know that you only know these tales if you look online or you do a bit of your research. Some of this information I got from the library. This is not all online, it's got some information this week from the library. Yeah, not everything is online for the information you need about history and here's the big tree I'm going to put a few pictures at the end of the video so you can have a look you appreciate oh, you see it gets bigger and bigger can't you what off back out back out and walking down keeping on the time just about to cut off a few minutes there interesting Burkhurst Steel Football Club is there Burkhurst Steel Football Club you know where they are and also Buckeye Steel Cricket Club is across the road just to show you cool eh we found the cricket club at the top Buckeye Steel and the cricket club across the road Watford Robbie Club is here just up the road how awesome officially 12 o'clock I like where we come a little stream here it's on the move it's actually going quite quick actually. I don't know if you can see that. There, so look. There you are. It's really nice. Out of the way, you see where we have come. It's nice to be out of the way for a bit. You've got to get too close to the traffic in a minute. But it's nice countryside. I like how the stream just goes down underneath here and goes down up there. But I've got to be careful up here. I don't mind the vehicles going past. It's when you get a big vehicle, it's sort of the G4 or the air. Picture. 
Do you know what I mean? It feels like summer, do you know that? I'm really warm when I'm walking. Really, really warm. I wasn't expecting that. I know we have rain, but when it's warm, it's warm. I don't know how far we've got to Chigwell yet, but we've got a window of 22 minutes. So it's not bad. We're doing quite well, um, considering. But we have to finish at the station, as in Chigwell station. We're doing station to station. And see if we can beat the 30 mile, 30, 30 minute radius. Or beating it, the train, basically. That'd be pretty awesome if I could. That'd be like, whoa, an achievement completed. But the way I'm seeing it, it could be a 50-50 situation at the moment. So what happens, I don't know. You think to yourself, why do I do these walks? I do them for a few reasons. One, exercise. I like the history. Um, I like the scenery. Different. See things different as you're walking. Nice scenery. Countryside and that. And also, I like the challenges set. See if you get to a certain point at a certain time. I like the history that goes with it. It's also memories. So you can look back how things have changed. You can revisit the route. See if it's changed in some way. Especially buildings and that. It's really nice. I think I hear the word, see the word Chigwell. When I see the word Chigwell, um, it's a big area. This is a borderline. So I mean, you can say, on, a, on the other side. I'm going to show you what I mean. This is a borderline. It's, in, it's twined with two places anyway. It's twined more, well, one place. Manchester Billy. So here we are. We're here. We're not in Chigwell yet. We've got past that sign we're in Chigwell. And then across here, we have a challenge. The road gets a bit rough. This is going to be very hard because the road it's like the, well, the path disappears. I'm not happy with that. So I have to work out how to get there. This is going to be an interesting. That's a nature reserve down there. Down this way. That's a country lane now. Let's get across quick. If we have to take the forest, we take the forest. If it's accessible. Otherwise, no. Nah. Oh, car bought sale. Chigwell Rise. Here you go, oh, okay. Chigwell Rise point. I was going to show you this point. This is nice. This is interesting. Because where we're cutting off is the right George Carriage Road. I'm not sure it's the Eminem or something like that. I don't know. Something. It's right underneath. You wouldn't think it's here. You hear it getting louder and louder, right? That's what we're coming up to. You're going to go, wow. I'm going to stop and show you the view. Ready? That's right underneath us right now. Look at that. It's really high up as well. It's really, really high. Really open up. Whoa. I'm going to put the camera on my and see at the end. Six minutes past. Um, this is the route I don't like. There's a path. I see a path. I don't know if it's going to run out. That's a tricky. Let's get across. We're in Rodin Lane. It says, see a nice view of that countryside. Just going to show you. Zoom in and have a look. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? But yeah, this is our route we're taking. I just hope it's not. I'm getting really hot, you know. I just hope it's not bad. Because I don't know if the path is going to run out. Because the cars, when they come through, they're not slow. You notice, when you're in the countryside, they speed up a bit. But I don't mind the path being like this all the way. Oh. So bad, I got caught with stinging nettles there. I know you can't go in the forest there. There's no access, basically. A nice field over there. Don't know what's happening over there, it's a field. A farmer saying, what's that say? Got poor blues. Must have been a festival over there, something. At some time. Because they've got like things you can sit on. Oh, boot sale. Here's Saturdays and bank holidays. Oh, interesting. Probably won't be now because uh, summer's gas appearing now. I think my path, I don't like the sound of this. 
because my path is adventuring towards the traffic way and I'm not looking looking at the traffic I'd rather look at the traffic but there's a path on the other side so what I might do is cross the road and walk on the other side this is going to be very tight to get to Chigwell station it's going to be very very tight extremely because the train goes out that way somewhere out there somewhere uh, but if we can do it I think we might cross the road so we're on the other side of the path so we haven't got the traffic facing behind us it won't be so bad call my route there's a bunker um, only I'll show you mean there's a bunker right over there far, far distant I can't get to it because guard dogs patrol that area kind of scary thought to hear that word you have to be careful when you go places in the countryside you can't just adventure it because some land is protected you've got to read signs but there's a sign saying protected so be safe if you know what I mean we're on the other side we see a few houses so hopefully we're near Chigwell itself we come out at a funny angle in Chigwell or 167 comes out at a funny angle uh, so hopefully we might make it it's 11 past I doubt if we get there in 10 minutes it might be just over but we see we see we're still in time we're still good with time but can we make it there goes the bus so it's going the right way let's get in the station because when you get to the town you've got actually got a window about five or five to six minutes to get to the station so we really need to get to the end in four minutes that's going to be a bit of a challenge isn't it we have the country part of it now don't know if we have to hit it again or not but we'll see um, we're now out in the open now it's not nice area I've never done this walk before it's the first time here's the first I've done it the other way cheek roll going onwards but I've never actually done this walk this is a nice walk actually I like, I like this walk it's really really like countryside so outside nice house today I wouldn't mind living here I won't say no it does, it does look nice it's nice and open space I like it it's really nice here, but they've got nice gardens as well. See, so come on, well, you wouldn't want to live here. You want to live here, wouldn't it? Look how nice these houses are. Uh, Showing back the front. I like to have one with a garden at the front. Not with no garden at the front, or a garden at the front. Uh, be good. Gardens at the front, not the best. But they've got some gardens, like here, here. They've got something. It's a bit better. This one's nice. I've got one with a tree. All right, need a bit of shade. Any really? That's nice. I like it. But I like these ones though. Look at this. Oh, but I like these better. Really nice. We're still on our walk. It's nice to do a walk than it is to get a bus. Um, it's a bit of a warm day today. It's unusual. It's October as well. It's we've had some weird weather. We had lots of rain. We've had bucket loads of that last week. What do you mean loads? We've had loads like chucking down like a good one. And now it's all brightened up again. It's still cold. It's still cold. I'm not going to lie, it's a bit nippy. But if you keep walking, you're running, you'll feel the heat anyway. I like this bit of green. You can, oh, this is signs we're in, this is signs we're in near the Chegwell village. It's not a town. People think it's a town. It's actually a village. Trigger is actually a village. Chigwell's a huge area, so if you say you live in Chigwell, you live not necessarily near the village. It's quite a, quite a journey. It's just a massive, literally massive area. Okay, just hopefully, let's check the time. 12.16, so we're still doing good. It's not 22 yet, is it? So, can it be done? Can it be done? We'll see. We need to get to the bottom here. See the bottom? Here's the time. Two minutes. Oh, seriously, we've got to get down two minutes. And there's the bottom. We've just got to turn right to the station. Not, not bad, considering. 
considering it's not bad because we're in Chigwell, isn't it? Because some, because a bit when you come out of the station, you have to walk into the town. So considering that's that's really good if you're meeting up with someone, if they you walk it and they and they train it, you still meet up <laughs> at that same time. I've only been a bit a few minutes wait, that sort of thing. So I won't be so bad. You're gonna believe this. I know stations at the top. You ain't gonna believe this. Look. Look at the time. I said 22, didn't I? We still got a minute. And here's the town. The station is at the top. We've got a minute to get from here, where we are, all the way to the top. I think we'll be a minute over. I can't be bad for a challenge now. Come on, it can't be bad. It can't be bad. That's good timing, isn't it? That's really good timing. But we're going to check how much is over because I know it's going to be over anyway but let's go make our way through Chigwell Town village get it right it's not a town it's a village make our way through Chigwell Village and uh oh it's all different around here I like the flats on it's not posh bright freaking bright oh my gosh we're going to make our way and see how long it takes actually it's, it's nearly 22 look see what we get at a point 22 now. We end up just at the end of the town. End of the town, so it can't be bad. Let's get to the station anyway, see how long it takes. Okay, it's 24 now. There we are. Took a couple of minutes. If I didn't spend a couple of minutes in the forest, we'd have been in exactly the same time as the train. So you can more or less say it's the same time as the train, because the station's here. We made it. We made it to Chigwell. Down there somewhere. As you can see them from here, look. Down there. The station is here. Honestly, today we made it. It's Chigwell station, but we're going to show you a little bit of Chigwell posh part. What it's like on the other side. That's how we end in our video. I'm not ending the video. So you get extra. I'm going to show you some pictures at the end of the video. For now, I'm going to put like pictures at the end of my video so you get to see everything. Sometimes I put on my Instagram or put on my Facebook, but everybody's got that. But yeah, so a little slideshow at the end. It's a bit of an extra, so I do it in most of my video. I put like a little bonus video at the end. But do check the end of the video. Always something inside at the end. Just going to show you the nice bit of Chigwell. Um, it's really nice. This is unusual. It's not the chop the logs of the trees down there. Trains going that way, go towards London. But the train's going this way. There should be a station there. You see it, Chigwell Station. You see it, Chigwell Station, just there. The train's going that way, go to Watford. They cut off. They can't go all the way to Epping, that's an interchange. It's on a bend. But yeah. This is a nice line, it's country nice. You see how the forest is done? How the forest, how they've done it? They sort of go deep down, deep down. That's how they've done it. But I like the trees, how they randomly uh, twined in with the scenery. But you can see it, they've got a wall just down there. So it stops, stops the uh, plants from growing. We're here, we're gonna show you a few, uh, a few trees. There's plenty of those. A few houses further up. Well, look at the size of these trees. Massive. I like this house. It's sort of got the old fashioned style thing at the front. There's more posher ones further up. Think about those houses with the lines. They do it for tradition. They don't do it because it's old. It's a tradition thing. Edward Ethan times. Some keep, some keep, some just like the design. Some just keep to tradition. As you can see. So really nice houses now. Really what a lot of gates. Houses have got gates. As you can see, gates. Gates, fences, guards. Yeah. Some have, some haven't. There's one being built. 
down so that someone had a fed at front decided to knock the whole thing down and build here so it looks like a new building some look nice actually some look really cool actually looks like someone didn't like the house here and knocked it down <laughs> you get that people do that when they buy a house sometimes they knock it down yeah wash people's rubbish nice houses though some big some are small we're getting to the top of the hill now I'll show you the view at the top of the hill again as I showed you at night time didn't I I said you got to see it during the day I'll show you during the day and then we end the vlog from there so you got to see it so actually we are high up this is above um, you could say it's above sea level quite a higher I'll show you one me when I get to the top because down here it's like a drop drop as you can see I know people leave their rubbish out for collection because they have to do that that posh house just have to leave the rubbish out sort of things they buy look interesting but foxes get hold of some of the stuff and take a run for it foxes do this by the way see the view or the skyline the whole of Essex actually Essex, London's on that side yeah the view we're going to go up the top that way and show the view it's a nice view though right from up here you know it's a long way down let's get to a viewpoint to show you now to prepare to have your mind blown prepare prepare um, the view is not going to be clear clear there's a bit of a haze on the horizon it's, what's frustrating is the trees have blocked the views because years ago I was told when the trees weren't here well trees weren't that tall the views were like stunning and yes it is windy at the top here because I'm high up because over there's London area Portland, Canary Wharf that way main London's over there and Dartford's over that side somewhere Dartford, you can see far Dartford yeah well let's have a look let's see if we can find it but it used to be a bench here I don't know where it's kept going to the bench was over here last time I saw it like I do the night I think someone's run out of the, out of the runner of it the foxes have been in a bin you can see the bench was originally here literally it was here people can view but now where the bench went to I don't know that's a nice view though right Darford should be I can't see it because the bushes are in the way the trees when it's winter I want to come here in winter and there'll be no leaves on the trees and I'll be able to see far out then so start for that, that direction over there Darford it's just south end on the sea should be so the Thames goes along sort of go along there go along there somewhere the Thames I don't know if you can see that far but you're just about the scenery is nice from my point of view it's, it's beautiful I have not come here to see fireworks yet that's one thing I should see really November the 5th is a one time to see it and or obvious New Year's Day I never I know I was told to come here and I haven't been I haven't been here because of trouble off the last few years in this area yeah that's what I was told I'm trouble the last few years but I try to get a fireworks display can you imagine it right here we haven't been up there to experience it yet it's got to happen but yeah it's a nice view though give it that's pretty sick one year we've got to come here and do it fireworks until next time guys until next time